Hey, how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your PC and apply the best settings to gain extra performance, boost your FPS and reduce your lags, stutter and input delay in Valorant Year 25 Act 5 dropped recently. I hope this guide helps you out so make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best Windows settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and over here come down to gaming. Head over to game bar and turn this thing off. Since it is an overlay service, game bar turned on will lead to performance drop. Then go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. This will optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background allowing you to boost your PC's performance. Then click on the graphics button underneath and then enable optimizations for Windows games to use advanced features to reduce input latency and then click on advanced graphics settings settings and enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as this will help you to utilize your GPU to render the game. Then you're gonna have to click on add desktop app button over here and then go to the download location of Valorant. It should be right over here. Head over to the shooter game, binaries, win64 and then select the Valorant win64 shipping.exe. Click on the add button and if that is already added, scroll down to find your game. Select it and then for the GPU preference, select high performance over here and this will disable all kind of power saving features while you're running the game. Once that is done, head over to find a setting and then search for core isolation and simply open it up. Once you're over here, you'll find memory integrity. You wanna have to turn this thing off. This simple setting will help you to save up to 15% of your CPU resources, which will be utilized while you play the games to improve your PC's performance. Once that is done, simply close your settings. Next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and right over here click on custom. Then you have to enable save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnail instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. Other than that I would recommend you guys to disable every single one of these settings over here and this will help you to disable unwanted and unnecessary animations on your PC. Next step is disable background applications and for that also simply search for local and you'll find edit group policy. This setting will only be available for windows pro users. Once you're over here, double click on computer configuration, then administrative templates, then head over to windows components and then app privacy. Right over here, you'll find something called let windows apps run in the background. Double click to open this up and make sure that this policy is turned on. After that, default for all applications should be set to force deny and this will deny all of the applications running in the background and enable this policy. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and once you're over here, search for local disk C and click on the create button. Name it Valorant just so you can remember it and I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you are willing to restore any of this settings back again. Once again, simply close it and close system properties. Next step is the Valorant Year 25 Act 5 FPS pack I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys will find in certain folders over here. These folders are really important to optimize the performance of your PC. The first one over here is CPU priority in which I have left AMD as well as Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you have an Intel CPU like me, you can double click and apply the Intel CPU priority. And if you guys have an AMD CPU, you can double click and apply the AMD CPU priority. This will help you to set up the correct DWORD value for your processor to optimize its performance. Next is Valorant priority in which I have left Valorant above normal, high priority and normal priority. I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Third folder is RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of these registries which are actually presets for your RAM. I use 32 GB RAM so I need to apply this registry over here. Simply double click to apply it according to your PC and if you don't like it you can always reset it back to default right over here. Fourth folder is disable unwanted services in which I have left all of these services which are absolutely useless. Simply double click to apply every single one of them and this will disable these services which will help you to save your system's resources for gaming. Fifth folder over here is power plan settings in which I have left import ultimate performance power plan. Right click on it and run it as administrator. This will run a PowerShell command and add a new power plan into the list. To access it, double click on power plans and then you'll find show additional plans. Select it and then you wanna have to click on ultimate performance that should be listed right over here. Next, input delay improvement. You guys will find keyboard latency fix and for this, I would request you guys to leave your keyboard specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which keyboard latency buffer you need to choose over here. Next is mouse latency fix where you have to double click and apply the fix mouse curve. If you open it, up in notepad you guys can see that this registry helps you to smoothen your mouse sensitivity x and y curve 
to make the movement more accurate. Last is the programs folder in which I have left clean temporary files dot bat. You will have to right click and run this as administrator. This will open up a temporary file cleaner. Simply press any key on your keyboard and this will delete all of the unnecessary temporary files on your PC, which will help you to optimize your PC's performance. And I would highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then when you open up your game. Next is process lasso, which is a very useful tool. You have to install this and open it up. Search for process lasso. Okay, so once you open up Valorant, you guys have to come over to process lasso lasso and then you wanna have to click on all process select anywhere and press v to locate valorant in this list once you find valorant.exe what you guys have to do is right click on it and then you wanna have to go over to cpu priority click on current and then select high over here this will prioritize your game while you're playing it utilize your cpu cores accurately and fix all kind of stuttering lagging and any other issues once you're in the game, head over to the settings gear and click on settings and right over here you have to come down and then you have to make sure that raw input buffer is turned on. Then scroll all the way down and then you'll find network buffering, keep it to minimum. Then head over to the video settings and over here you have to make sure that your display mode is full screen or windowed full screen. Nvidia reflex latency if available to you, set it to on press boost, click on graphics quality and enable multi-threaded rendering. Everything else should be set to low and off except anisotropic filtering that should be set to 2x or 4x and this will help you to gain maximum performance so guys once all of that is done you can drop into the game with the maximum fps possible so guys that is it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button because we are really close to 1000 subscribers hit that subscribe button and click on the like button leave your thoughts in the comments and i'll see you all in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching tweakers and peace out